Click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami and you are watching Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Dear friends today this topic is too much important for all civil engineers and the topic is how to study civil engineering drawing in detail. Okay so this is the complete drawing of CNW okay Con communication and work okay detail drawing and we have a total drawing okay so we have to study from the start to end okay so this is the past two, part first and part second i will uh, show you uh, the more detail about uh, this drawing okay so uh, look at this this is the complete drawing of cnw right cnw work right so ground floor slab detail and slab all thickness is equal that that okay etc so this is the complete drawing okay so if you need uh, the uh, uh this drawing article and new information new update about civil engineering so you are able to visit my website www.civilglobal.com okay you must visit there then you will be able to get new information new updates and new notes about civil engineering okay and subscribe civilglobal.com there and civil uh, in, uh, civilglobal.com website okay subscribe there then you will get notification and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for more update videos okay let's start so first of all i will zoom this video then you will be able uh, to see all the dimensions clearly okay just one minute it's okay now okay so first of all uh, this is the uh, in first page of this drawing the ground floor foundation plan okay so this is the a science lab okay and this one is the office and this one is the veranda okay so i will tell you uh, the dimension of uh, this drawing in detail okay so first of all center to center distance from one uh, column to other column here is 10 feet 3 inch okay and from this one column center to this one center we have a 10 feet and also from this one to this one 10 feet and 3 inch so 10.25 okay and this side we have also the total distance okay you can take so from this center to this one column center we have a 20 feet and from this one to this one we have a from this one to this one okay so 10 feet and 3 inch right let's start so first of all i will tell you here what is c1 and what is f1 right so f1 ends so first of all i will tell you c1 so c1 mean column one okay so why uh, you can also say that x1 okay or f1 or d1 okay so you can change the c value okay this is c and change the c value for example you can say d1 f1 etc okay so i have i can set it c1 so means column one okay also you can say x1 it's depend on you okay so uh why we change the name of the columns because uh, different columns are the different size okay so this is the uh, it's depend on the size okay so this is c1 mean column one so this dimension is equal to this one so therefore this is c1 right and this one is also c1 because the dimensions of these columns are equal with each other so therefore it's called c1 now we have a c2 okay in this row we have uh, other columns so this is called c2 because the dimensions is too much change okay so look at this one and look at this one okay so c2 column 2 this one is also column 2 column 2 column 2 okay and also the dimension of c2 and this one c2 are means the dimension of these two columns are each uh, equal to each other so therefore this is also c2 and this is also this is also c2 this is also this one and this one this one and this one and this is called c1 because this dimension are changed from c2 column okay got it now i will tell you what is f1 here also f1 here also f1 but here is f2 f2 okay f2 and f2 okay it means foundation one okay and you can also separate it from each other okay if suppose i say this is a long wall okay or long wall foundation and this one is also long wall foundation and also you can say this is short wall or this is short wall and this is long wall okay so we can say that short wall foundation 
okay and short foundation f1 this is also short foundation f1 and this is a long foundation so it's f2 this one is also the front of this one so f2 okay now uh, the foundation breadth is five feet okay our width is five feet okay for all this plot right so this is the uh, first drawing specification and detail how we can study civil engineering drawing but this is the a CNW drawing, okay, government drawing. So, in second page, we have a uh, here. Uh, look at this. Okay, so this is the section of stirrup foundation F3. Okay, so we can say uh, uh, same like uh, this is the uh, cross section. Okay, and we will use and uh, uh, this is F3. Uh, sorry, this is the uh, three feet width. Okay. And also, uh, this is the total depth of the foundation, 3.5 feet NSL, natural surface level, okay? NS or natural soil level, you can say. And we can use here PCC, okay? Uh, uh, so that is uh, 148, okay? And here in this section, we can use RCC 124, M grade 15, okay? Or M15 grade of concrete. So here uh, we use uh, uh, we use the steel which dia is uh, four, okay? So you can say four suter, right? Or you can say uh, yes, four suter is right. And uh, center to center distance between two bar is uh, what six inch, okay? But this is the main bar, okay? And this one is the uh, this one bar, okay? This one is also same like this one. Dia is also same with each other and uh, center to center distance is also same like that okay now uh, this is the section of column one okay this is the column one this one i have already told you c1 and also c1 so this is the section for column one okay from top of so c1 section of c1 okay section of column one you can say so here uh, the dimension of this column, the C1 column, is 12 inch by 12 inch, okay? And we use here six numbers of bar. Look at this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We use six numbers of bar, and each bar uh, dia is six suter, okay? So six number of bar we can use here. Okay, so six uh, number of bar, you can say here that uh, uh, six divided by eight okay because we have eight suter in one inch okay so this is the bar okay and this one is the dia of stirrup okay so dia of stirrup is three number at the rate center to center distance between two stirrup is six inch okay and this is the section of column two this one section of column two this one column or this one or this one or these columns okay this is the section for those columns so uh, we use here in this look at this okay there you are able to use one number look at this the dimension is 18 inch okay and 12 inch okay this is changed from it because this is called c2 and this is c1 okay and the stirrup dia is uh, 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 stirrup dia is 3 suter at the rate 6 inch by 6 inch distance between same like this one and here we use how much number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay 3 plus 3 6 plus 2 8 8 numbers and center to center distance is uh, 6 inch okay so this is the uh, important uh, sorry and not center to center distance 8 numbers and 6 uh, uh, this is the 6 dia okay same like this one right now this is the section of plant beam okay pb mean plant beam okay and we can uh, take the dimension of this 12 inch by 12 inch okay and here we use the six steel uh, stick uh, six number of bar one two three four five six so six and die of each bar is four uh, suter now we have a, a stirrup dia here uh, so the dia is three suter and six, center to center distance between two stirrup is called six inch okay so this is the too much important for this column okay plant beam you can also provide here so therefore i've discussed with you now here we have a uh, the section uh, for the foundation okay section of foundation 
so section of foundation one so what is foundation one this one is the foundation one okay and this is the foundation two right so uh, this is the section for this so section uh, one one f1 right so uh, here so uh, look at this uh, this is also uh, we can say uh, that uh, this is the section of uh, for this so we use the different steel here rcc 124 okay and pcc 148 and each uh, already we have a breadth of the foundation here five feet because i have already discussed in for uh, in a first page okay so from here to here this is five feet right so therefore the section will become five feet this one okay and these are the steel we can use here uh, how much steels okay so this is the three by eight right and at the rate say center to center distance is this one because this is the uh, stirrup of the dia okay and weight of the column is uh, sorry beam is uh, here are the plant beam is 18 inch okay and this is the total depth 3.5 feet right and uh, depth for the uh, rcc work a uh, with steel okay and footing that is what 12 inch right and from here to here 18 inch plus 12 inch okay and pcc nail concrete depth is just 4 inch okay so this is the long section or x section you can say okay so you can see it in detail you can get this uh, screenshot from this video then you will be able to uh, better understand about this okay so this one is also uh, for section for uh, two means f2 foundation two this one and this one right so already the breadth of the foundation is five feet and same like this one so i will zoom it then you will be uh, able to see it clearly look at this this is the detailed rank therefore it's taking a lot of time so uh, don't mind please okay now uh, we have a the long section okay so this video is being long okay so uh, in next lecture i will discuss in the part second okay this is the other one look at this sorry yes okay in next lecture i will tell you ground floor beam plan okay and uh, ground floor slab detail okay and so it's sufficient for today and see you in next lecture okay all the best take care bye